joking that she's staying in the adult room. <laughs> so much for this team. Um, you know, she's she's given us some pretty inspirational speeches, um, stories as to what she's done in previous Soul Line Cups, and she also, like Meg, that Kelly has this great presence about her, that uh, she instills a lot of calm into us, and, and she's got so much belief in us, it's as if we've got, you know, a third parent with us, you know, and she's there for all of us, and it's, it's, it's pretty inspirational having her there for us, and uh, just knowing that she believes in us, because she's seen it all, and she's, you know, one of the greatest of all time, and for her to be able to say things like that, you know, it makes you really want to go out and prove that, you know, we, you know, hopefully we can't do this. You know, and she's got a ton of experience, too, and she, uh, she's a fierce competitor. Um, she wouldn't be doing what she's doing, especially at her age now, which I'll tell you, she's not like that at heart. She's, she's as young as, as us, if not younger, and Ready, like, hey, let's go put on the putting green. Let's let's play for twenty bucks. You know, she's not there putting until dark. Yet. Yeah, she's, uh, and you know, she's amazing. And uh, you know, when, when push comes to shove, if, if she had a six foot putt to win the Solheim Cup, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, myself included, I would, I would welcome that because she's she's that that fierce of a competitor. It was right. great. It was great. We got to watch. Uh, we were watching some video recaps of of previous Solheim Cups, and it just seems like. Just about every every U.S. clip is of Julie yeah. Aster yeah. making some sort of butter dancing. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and that in itself can be intimidating to the Europeans. Yeah. 